for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our video series on CSS. In this series of videos, we want to talk a little bit about something called the box model. The box model dictates how CSS is going to format different pieces of text and then position them on the page. And there are several properties that we want to talk about today. We want to talk about the width and the height property. We also want to talk about the padding and margin property. And then finally, we're going to talk about the border and background color property. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see here I've created a simple HTML page that has a header in it, a, a paragraph, and then actually a div that contains a paragraph of information. And this div is actually ID to sample. And that's what I want to start off talking about is how to format and position this um, div. One thing that we won't be discussing in this video is floats. So if you're interested in more on floats, um, go ahead and check out one of our later um, CSS videos. So I'm going to go come along here and I'm going to come into my style sheet and you're going to see the only style that I've created in this style sheet is for the body section and it's basically to zero out the margin, padding, and border. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and open up a style for the sample bin. So I'm going to go ahead and create that ID style, open my bracket, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to go ahead and set the width and the height. Now, when you look at this div here, you're going to see that there's a dotted line around the content. Right now I'm in split view and I'm splitting in between code view and design view. You can also go into live view and we'll be doing that a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and click down here and the property that I'm going to use is going to be width. Now I've actually turned on my rulers here. So you can see right now I've got approximately 550 pixels of space. You can turn on your rulers by going to the view menu and coming down here to rulers and selecting show. You're also going to notice I've turned the grid on. You can again turn that on so you can see how things are positioned by going to grid and selecting show grid. You can change the grid settings by coming here to grid settings. So those are just a couple of visual aids that you'll really want to work with when you're playing around with uh, CSS. So anyway, coming back here, you can see I've got this div right now since it hasn't had its width specified, is taking up the entire available space, which is roughly 550 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 350 pixels. Whoops. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my div off. And you can see here, after I've set up the width property, the width of the div has changed. It's now 350 pixels. I can also specify the height of the div. I'm going to go ahead here and use the height property. And you can see right now this div is taking up you know, about, 100, or about 300 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and make the height of this div 400 pixels. And you're going to see that the div expands out to take up more space. So you can always set the width and the height properties to determine how big a div is going to um, be, how much space it will take up. Now the next two box model properties that I want to talk about are background color and border. Background color and border. And background color we've already seen in a couple of our videos. But I'm going to go ahead and use that property and I'm going to select a color. This is again one of the reasons why Dreamweaver is so great as a coding tool. It gives you all these hints and I'm going to select this really light yellow is the background color. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that off, save it, and now you're going to see that my div has been 
filled in with that yellow color. And if I go into live view, you'll see it even more. I'm going to come back out of live view and go back into code view. There we go. Whoops. Turn off live view. There we go. Now, the border property has three different parameters that you're going to give it. And you also are going to tell it the location of the item. So we're going to go ahead and do a simple border all the way around this box. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is specify the border property. And I need to tell it three things, or the browser three things. I need to tell it the width of the border, the color of the border, and the style of the border. In this case, I just want a two pixel black solid border to go around my div. So I'm going to go ahead and say this border is going to be two pixels. And the color is going to be black. And again, you can type that in in the three digit short form or you can do the full six digits. And I want it to be a solid line as opposed to being dotted or dashed or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you'll see that two pixel solid black border now goes all the way around my div. And when I go into live view, there you'll see it. In our next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the CSS box model, specifically about two properties, padding and spacing or margin. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.